Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Have you upgraded your Mac to the latest macOS Tahoe but feel it doesn't run well? This video is for you. Today, I'll walk through three easy steps to remove macOS 26 update and downgrade to macOS Sequoia. In previous videos, we created a backup before updating macOS. This is the key to downgrading macOS without data loss. So prepare an external drive for your Mac as a time machine backup drive and back up your Mac before proceeding with the next step. In this step, we will create a bootable drive containing the macOS Sequoia installer. So insert a USB at least 16 GB. Then we need to download macOS Sequoia from the App Store. Wait for a while. Since we can't downgrade directly to Mako Sequoia, instead of clicking continue, click quit install Makos in the upper left corner. The Mako Sequoia installer will be saved to your applications folder and finder. Next, open terminal by spotlight. Type the command sudo followed by a space. Then go back to finder and locate the install Mako Sequoia you just installed. Right click it and select show package contents. Double click contents and open the resources folder. Here, find the create install media executable file. Drag and drop it into the open terminal window. Then type dash dash volume space. Go to the main screen, drag and drop the USB icon into the terminal and press enter. It will ask for your password to create the bootable USB installer. Continue. Press the Y key and press enter. Now wait a bit for the process to complete. Once completed, shut down your Mac and wait for 10 seconds. Step 3. Install Mako Sequoia from USB. Hold the power button on Apple Silicon Mac until the startup options appear. As you can see, my MacBook is in the Mako's recovery screen. Click on Option, then Continue. Enter your MacBook login password and continue. Here, choose Disk Utility and continue. Now we have to erase the drive because we cannot install MacOS 15 on a MacOS 26 installed drive. Select your system volume from the left side of the window. Erase it. Wait for your drive to be completely erased. Your MacBook will restart and show the active mix screen. Keep your Mac connected to Wi-Fi and enter your Apple ID and password. Now your Mac will be activated. Exit to recovery. Here's the option to install a new copy of Mako Sequoia Public. But I suggest you ignore this option because you may get a different installation error. Now, let's restart the MacBook. When the screen goes black, press and hold the power button until you see the startup options appear. As you can see, click on your bootable installer drive, install Mako Sequoia, follow the on-screen setup and continue. Wait and select the primary installation MacBook Drive. Here I am, selecting Macintosh HD. Wait for the installation to complete. During the installation, your MacBook will restart many times. Once done, set up your Mac. And restore data from Time Machine Backup with Migration Assistant. If you didn't have a backup and need to recover files on a Mac, get 4DDIG McData Recovery. Thus, I have finished guiding you to downgrade Makos from Tahoe to Sequoia. How was your experience after using the Makos 26 beta version for a while? Did you encounter any errors? Share with me in the comments section. Goodbye.